hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that uh, how basically you can create a context menu inside your angular 14 application so basically this is the live demo of the application here so inside this we have this uh, list items here john and joe and if you right click on these elements here you will now basically see a nice little context menu is there which contains two options here say hi or by john if you click nothing will happen but still you will see this uh, if you click on Joe here, you will see the same menu once again. So I will be showing you how to design this context menu using a dependency inside your Angular 14 application. So it will be a very nice tutorial. So please hit that like button, subscribe the channel. And all the source code of this application is given in the description of the video. So basically I have given a complete step by step tutorial in the description of the video this is basically my blog post where all the source code is available and now let's start building this application so as i already told you if you go to npmjs.com there is a module out there which is ngx context menu so this is basically the module that we are using in this tutorial to create the context menu so you can see it's a very nice dependency 10,000 weekly downloads are there and we will be taking a very simple example here how we can do this so the very first thing you need to do guys let me delete all this stuff so you will see the live preview in the light, uh, right hand side and also let me delete this also and start from scratch so the very first thing you need to do you need to go to app.module.ts file of your application and here you just need to add basically a simple line here so right inside your you need to import the forms module here and then here you just need to import the line here which is uh, ngx context menu and from this we just need to import the module which is context mod menu module and then we just need to import array we just need to add this line which is context menu and uh, here we need to call a method for root that's all so just close this file here and now we just need to go to app.component.html but before that we will declare some variables inside our type script so here we will have basically a items which will be displayed on the screen this will be an array of objects each object will contain two properties first is name property which is john and the other property you can take here let's suppose uh, foo and then we have another object which contains these two properties the name this time will be joe and basically we have the other property so this is equal to bar so now we just need to loop through these items guys and display it on the screen so how we can do that inside angular it's very simple we will use basically ng4 directive here ng4 and basically here guys uh, ng4 as you all know it's a for loop directive and here we will simply say let item of items and then we basically will simply display the item here you will now see this is basically the object here you see you are seeing here so what we can do is that we need to print the name so you will see john and joe so we are printing out this name here we can even do other property as well like this other property sorry but we only need the name here so we will simply say item dot name and here we will provide a question mark for the template and here we, now we just need to declare a variable guys for the menu so what we can do is that basically we will declare at the rate view child and here we will provide the context menu component so this will also be get imported from this dependency and gx context menu and here guys after this we will declare the public variable basic menu which is of the type context menu 
component. And here we just need to assign this basic menu guys as a property to this HTML. If you check here, this basically contains a property here which is called as context menu. And this will be equal to basic menu. So we have to attach this and then the second property is context menu subject and this will be equal to the item and here now we will simply basically define actually our context menu guys so this basically contains a directive here which is called as context menu so inside this we will design the context menu so this will basically be having a template ng template so close this tag here so this contains some properties guys first is this will be a context menu item and uh, inside this we will basically show static text here say hi so now we have one item inside our item if you right click you will see we have one item in this case you can also have some more items as well inside this ng template and now in order to have a direct uh, divider guys we will again have ng template so this time basically this is uh, having a directive here which is for the divider it's a boolean value you can have true here so if you now see we have got if you add uh, another ng template So here for the third one guys, basically this is again an item. And here inside this what we will say by and inside this you will say item question mark dot name. So now you will see if you refresh it. So what we need to do here is that let me just copy paste it here. I think I'm making a mistake here. So you will see basically this contains this divider here because of this property divider is equal to true. If you make it false here the divider will not be there. So in this way guys you can create a context menu basically inside your angular 14 application using this directive and gx context menu we have shown you step by step all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this